In this video, I'm going to show you my new application sequence, which assigns unique numbers to the panels and also set the election stage and sequence number. It is a common practice in the precast detailing industry to assign unique numbers. Even though the panels are identical, most of us do it manually by setting some values in the user defined attributes or following some different methods. It is a time consuming process. Whereas this application, it will assign numbers uh, in the same order that you pick the panels. So just for an example, I set the prefix as GL and start number as one. And this is uh, stage number, sequence, start number, these two for erection. For clarity, let me move this window to the next screen. Once I click assign, then I will pick the panels in the order. Now you can see And uh, I'm also selecting some panels inside. Once I press the middle mouse, that automatically assigns a number to these panels. Level one, I set the prefix as level one and set the stage number as two. Once I click assign and pick the panels, then it will start numbering from one, two, three, four. And the stage number will start from two. In the interest of the time, I've already done this process. So, let me perform numbering. So here you can see this is GL1, 2, 3, 4. Suppose you pick the member in the wrong order, you can just go to the user different attributes and change this prefix or start number. An erection sequence, uh, once you enter the stage number, this will show the sequence. I'm going to run this application for the entire model. I can also create erection stage list report. If I go to the model folder, erection stage list. Now you can see the sequence mark and cast unit number, profile, location, length, and gross weight. Stage 1 has 24 members, stage 2, stage 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8, and that's the total. I'm creating this panel mark report. So Now, let's see the demo of uh, this erection sequence for steel members. I'm going to set only the stage number and sequence start number. So you can see this box is ticked off. Let me show only the columns first. Once you click assign and start picking the members. So the system will assign the erection stage and uh, sequence number in the same order. 
So all these columns are stage one and the sequence number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve. So in the interest of the time, I have already assigned the, the stage numbers to all the other members. When you enter the stage number, it's going to show only that stage sequence. Now I'm going to run the selection sequence to the whole model. I can also create a report uh, from this application, but I'm going to do it from standard report, erection stage list. So that's a sequence number, assembly mark, profile, grid location, length and weight. So the stage one has 36 members stage two and so on. Thank you for watching this video.